Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with motor control using Texas Instruments Boost XL DRV 8320RS motor driver paired with the Launchpad F280049C. Let's start with unboxing the Launchpad F280049C. The Launchpad features the C2000 Piccolo F280049C microcontroller, which is enabled for InstaSpin FOC motor control. The kit also includes a USB 2.0 to Micro B cable. The launch pad will be paired with the Booster Pack DRV 8320RS motor driver. The Booster Pack features three half bridges capable of driving a three phase BLDC motor using sensorless field orientated or vector control. In this demonstration, I will be using a low voltage 24 volt three phase brushless DC motor with bare phase wires. The launch pad kit features two independent Booster Pack XL expansion connector sites. I'll be using one of these to connect to the motor driver. The Booster Pack motor driver has a three phase motor socket to which I'll connect the motor and also a power connector which will be connected to a DC power voltage source. Let's start by connecting all the hardware parts together. First, I'll connect the motor to the Booster Pack. The order in which you connect the phase wires to the motor driver will dictate which direction the motor rotates. Next, I will connect the power supply to the booster pack. You will need a DC voltage source with a 24 volt output. Make sure the power supply is switched off for now. Let's dock the booster pack to the launch pad on connector site 1. To determine the orientation of the booster pack, ensure that the power connectors of the booster pack are facing the USB interface on the launch pad and that the power and ground pins are lined up on both kits. Connect a launch pad development kit to a computer using a micro USB cable and then turn on the power supply. Next, we will set up the InstaSpin FOC GUI software that we'll use to control our motor. Open Chrome browser on a computer and navigate to dev.ti.com. Click Gallery. In the search box, type InstaSpin and click Search. The C2000 Motor Control SDK will show up as a result. Click the Import to GUI Composer button. Create a MyTI account or login if you already have one. You may be prompted to update the project to use the latest GUI Composer. If so, click Update Project. In the GUI Composer, click Project in the upper panel, then click on Properties. Click Next. Check that the device ID is entered correctly. By default, the motor underscore ID dot out example is selected. Other examples can be uploaded here. Click on the Run symbol to start the InstaSpin FOC GUI software. New users to the InstaSpin FOC GUI app will need to install the TI Cloud Agent browser extension and the application. First, install the browser extension. You will be navigated to the Chrome Web Store. Click the Add to Chrome button, then click Add Extension. Then, download and install the TI Cloud Agent application. Follow the installation process and then finally click on finish. The software will install some additional files and will automatically flash the launch pad with the example. After the flashing process is complete, the message hardware connected will be shown. Let's start by identifying our motor parameters. Check the Enable System box. The bus voltage box should show 24 volts. If not, double check that the power supply is connected correctly to the booster pack and is switched on. Make sure that the correct number of pole pairs is showing in the pole pairs box. In this demo, the motor we're using has four pole pairs. Click Run. The motor will start spinning to identify the motor parameters. The software uses an encoder algorithm, a sensorless observer called FAST, which stands for Flux, Angle, Speed and Torque. 
The sensorless observer is located in the read-only memory of the C2000 Piccolo F280049C microcontroller. These parameters are needed by the fast observer for sensorless control of the motor during closed loop operation. The parameters are stator resistance, stator series inductance, motor flux also known as back EMP constant, and magnetizing current required for AC induction motors only. The identification process will take several minutes. When it's complete, the motor will stop spinning and the identified values will be shown in the upper right hand corner of the InstaSpin FOC GUI. Click on Run, we can now control the speed of the motor by changing the number in the Speed Ref box. What to explore next? Navigate back to dev.ti.com and click on the Resource Explorer. In the Resource Explorer, click on Software on the left side panel. Then, choose the C2000 Wear Motor Control SDK. Click on Development Kits and then choose the DRV8320RS Booster Pack. Under Documentation, you will find the InstaSpin Lab Guide. These are example projects provided by TI, which will help you experiment with the InstaSpin FOC software. In this video, we run the motor parameters identification example. Further details can be found in Lab 5. Finally, this table shows motor driver and launch pad compatibility, as well as which GUI should be used to run the InstaSpin software. The InstaSpin FOC system solution by TI identifies motor parameters, self-tunes the senseless fast observer and sets stable tuning for the current controllers. InstaSpin FOC allows you to quickly control your own three-phase motors under advanced high-performance field orientated vector control without the need for mechanical rotor angle sensors. For more information visit mauser.com forward slash TI.